I want to turn now to Mental Health Awareness Month and our next guest who talks about using Fortnite to get out of uh, some of these mental health issues. We're joined now by Nate Hill, pro Fortnite player and content creator for the FaZe Clan, as well as our tech editor and big geek, Dan Howley, who is very excited <laughs> for this conversation. Uh, so Nate, uh, it looks like you're in your gaming chair. I'm guessing that's yes. a gaming chair. I, I'm, I'm very, sadly, I have to admit, I do not know too much about Fortnite. So I'm looking forward to learning that's more fair. in this conversation. But I first want to start here because I think so many people say that playing video games actually increases isolation uh, because you're not leaving your rooms, even though I know people are talking to each other on the application. And I know mental health uh, and mental health awareness is so incredible important to you. So what do you say to comments like that? Uh, well, firstly, they're not wrong. Uh, the, the life of a gamer can be very lonely. And a lot of us are in very dark rooms, as you see. And But it, there are a lot of aspects where you are meeting a lot of friends gaming. Uh, most people I talk to from home and my life are now people that I find play games and I play games with. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So, I mean, I use gaming as a platform to reconnect with old friends, to make new friends and uh, network that way. So it's not all, it's not all lonely. Nate, this is Dan, uh, the giant nerd that Kristen was talking about. Uh, I play games constantly. <laughs> uh, it's basically uh, the way that I stay connected with my friends um, who live across uh, the U.S. I guess, you know, when you, when you look at how uh, gaming has kind of evolved uh, over time from, you know, uh, playing console games uh, to PC games where you can connect with people. Does that provide kind of the outlet that people need? Uh, and I guess, you know, as far as using uh, kind of mental health awareness issues uh, with professional gaming, how do you deal with the kind of pressure that professional gaming brings along with it? Uh, yeah, I, I would 100% say it's an outlet that people use, especially during last year when most everyone couldn't go out. Uh, I've had old friends reach out and be like, hey, yo, you want to play some games? You want to, you want to meet up and things like that. So it, it's been a really helpful thing during the past year for not only me, but most everybody else as well. It's been a good outlet. And you asked, how do I deal with the, the pressure of, of like what comes with professional gaming and such? I think the yeah, same yeah. as any real actual athlete might, uh, you just kind of have to put your head down and play because and use that pressure and nerves to your advantage, right? Because everyone feels them. So if you're the person that realizes that and knows that everyone is nervous and kind of a little bit shaky and you use that to your advantage and go after them, be aggressive, it, it can help a lot. I know, you know, we talk about sports psychologists in, uh, you know, I'm a big baseball fan. Uh, unfortunately, I'm a big Mets fan, so that's not always great. Mm, um, but Phillies. you talk about, you know, <laughs> well, there, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to fight about this later. Yeah. Um, the the idea that you know uh, sports psychologists are involved in uh, major league sports like that to help players get out of funks, to help pitchers figure out their their mechanics or batters figure out their mechanics. You know, uh, there's a bunch of different uh, professional gamers that I've spoken to who say that they lean on sports psychologists as well. Is that something that you're seeing oh, really? more professional gamers talk about? Is it something that's that's well known throughout the the, the kind of industry? Honestly, uh, I actually haven't heard of that. Where I'm sure there are teams uh, doing that, but our team personally have done like some conferences with, with I guess psychologists or people that are uh, aware of things like this. And no, I didn't. I didn't realize it was such a big thing. But I, I think it's very important to have somebody to talk to that understands what you're going through in any aspect of life. So to have someone gaming, that's great. Is 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 I guess you know uh, obviously you you model as well. Um, do you find one more stressful than the other? Is is one more, you know, difficult for for you to handle? Uh, you know, not necessarily that you know you're overwhelmed by it, but do you find one uh, more have more pressure than than the other? Honestly, I would I would say modeling is is a little bit harder because uh, half of our job is going to meet people every day, so pretty much every single day of my life, I would, I'd be getting told you're not good looking enough and you don't fit our clothes and you're ugly and go home. So having to uh, compartmentalize that and go on with your job, uh, your day is a little, a little tough. Yeah. And just being yelled at online is a little bit easier probably because you yeah, can just Yeah. Cause it's people behind a keyboard, point. right? 
and you realize if they're doing that, they're probably, they have their own issues. So I hope they get better. You know, it's not going to affect my life. That is the attitude. All right. Pro, pro Fortnite player, Nate Hill. Thanks so much. Tech editor, Dan Howley. Thanks for stopping by guys.